The man accused of shooting and killing 10 people at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York, is expected to appear in court today. He's facing state and federal charges stemming from the racist massacre. And the Justice Department is considering whether or not to pursue the death penalty as part of a federal case. In a recent article, the Washington Post takes a look at the issue of racial equity when it comes to the death penalty and why some civil rights advocates don't want to see a self-proclaimed white supremacist executed. David Nakamura wrote that article. He's a reporter for The Washington Post, and he is joining us now to talk about it. Uh, David, it was a really fascinating article. Break down for us uh, what is the argument that civil rights groups are making so that our audience understands. Yeah, so civil rights groups are telling me that they have a longstanding opposition to the death penalty. Some of it is, of course, on moral grounds, uh, but a lot of their argument is that uh, the death penalty has long been applied in a disproportionate manner that harms poorer and minorities, suspects. Um, and uh, they're saying that even though this was a, white a self proclaimed white supremacist who was accused of killing 10 African Americans, targeting them in this grocery store in Buffalo, uh, and, and he is eligible for the death penalty according to the federal charges, uh, these civil rights groups are saying, no, we don't want the, the government to go for that because we are pushing for a bank, uh, app to abolish the death penalty uh, based on these, these arguments that it's, uh, it's unfairly harms black and, and minorities. Uh, and so they're saying that by going for the death penalty, uh, that would undermine this longer standing goal uh, to make the justice system more fair. And this is not an easy argument. They recognize uh, the pain of the victims and the concerns of the community, uh, but they are, they are certainly putting pressure on the Justice Department not to go forward. Um, so, David, I just want people to sort of understand that, yeah, you know, the, just, the Justice Department has an option to pursue the death penalty, but that the policy that the Justice Department adheres to can change depending on the administration. The Trump administration certainly did execute people. The Biden administration has asked the Justice Department to put a halt to executions, but I don't know if there's a clear policy for the Justice Department. I know that the um, that Merrick Garland visited the families in Buffalo. Did they express to him what their desire was? They, uh, some of them did. What I was told was the Merrick Garland last month when he announced these charges, he did it in Buffalo. He did meet privately with the families and their attorneys. Uh, and I was told that some of the families asked specifically, is the death penalty on the table? You know, uh, they charged Peyton Gendron, the suspect in this case, with 26 hate crimes counts, but those do not bring the death penalty. Uh, what made him eligible for the death penalty was a separate gun charge, a firearms uh, a, a, a charge, uh, and, and, and Merrick Garland was asked, did that open up the death penalty? And, the, and some of the families told him in the meeting, I'm told, uh, that they support that. Not all of the families said that. Others said they do not support the death penalty. And this is not unusual. Uh, if you look at the case with uh, Dylan uh, Roof, who shot uh, African American uh, parishioners uh, in the church in South Carolina in 2015. Um, there's, a, there's the Tree of Life shooting at the synagogue in Pittsburgh, uh, the anti Semitic shooting uh, in 2018. In both those cases, opinion among the, those affected was split, some, some uh, uh, supporting the death penalty, others not. Um, what makes this more interesting, though, is that Merrick Garland last year did put a moratorium on federal executions. And he did so, he's saying, look, the Trump administration went forward with 13 uh, executions in the final final six months of the President Trump's tenure, uh, we're going to study that, where they made some changes to policy around lethal injection. We're going to pause this until we study this further. And, uh, you know, President Biden, during the campaign, spoke out against the death penalty. But what Garland's memo does not do is ban prosecutors from seeking the death penalty. And that's mm -hmm. the question here. The, the president suggests they would go for it if you look at Dylan Roof, Roof and other cases. Yeah, um, and you mentioned uh, the president is uh, against the death penalty. Uh, so when do we expect, uh, David, the Justice Department to announce if it is seeking the death penalty or not? This is a long process, you know, that goes, uh, Merrick Garland was specifically said when reporters asked him about, you know, the family's wishes, he said, look, we're going to get input from the families. Uh, it may be, you know, that they have divided opinions on this. Uh, but this is a long process. The, the, the Justice Department goes through a number of uh, reviews. There's different committees. Uh, the U.S. attorneys uh, make a recommendation. The Civil Rights Department made a recommendation. If you look at the Dylan Roof case, the Civil Rights Division actually uh, recommended against the death penalty, but the Attorney General there, Loretta Lynch, went forward saying the crime merited uh, the stiffest of punishments. So it could take months, up to a year even, to make the final decision. But, you know, the judge in this case, though, in, in Buffalo, did make a point that uh, when he assigned a federal uh, public defender paid for by taxpayers to 
uh, uh, represent Peyton Gendron, he said, look, these death penalty cases are much more uh, involved with uh, complicated law and, and, and legal challenges, and they're very expensive for the public. So he did urge the uh, Justice Department to move fairly, relatively quickly. I was told by lawyers for the families they were offended by that, uh, mm. uh, saying that the, you know, they need to take as much time as necessary to make the right decision. Mm. Mm. David uh, Nakamura, thank you so much. Sure, thank you very much.